morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Whoa. Fix that camera a bit. How's everybody doing? Welcome on into the stream. Cutthroat is here. Kristoff. I'm right here, buddy. How you doing? I'm right here to play some Fallout 76 for your entertainment. On this cold, once again, cold. Friggin' Saturday here in Ontario, Canada. Can't catch a break, my friends. We are stuffed up again, but that's all right. How's everyone doing? Cutthroat says, what? Fallout 76 again? I need NBA. Well, you're not getting NBA. I don't have NBA. We talked about this. We talked about this already. I haven't played an NBA game in a long time, my friend. Dargoon, what's up, my brother? Good to see you, man. Hope you're having a good uh, day off, dude. Uh, we are playing this tomorrow too, buddy. I don't know if uh, you're interested or not, but we'd love to have you. Um, not sure if you played Fallout at all, but I think you dig it. There's an actually <laughs> a really extensive... Uh, there's really extensive base building in this. Way beyond what I thought was even possible for this kind of thing. Moe's here. Good morning. Good to see you, dude. You're up bright and early. Bat stand is here. To rock it and roll in. Wait, what? To rock and roll, I should say. And TJC. Oh, no, dude. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, TJ. Uh, hope you're okay, buddy. Damn. Hang in there, dude. That's rough. You'll be all right. Uh, you don't have Fallout 76. I'm not sure the price of it, dude. And you know me, I don't like to... Uh, force people into getting anything it was on sale for a while um, I don't know if you played any Fallout games Dargoon I honestly think from the time we've spent together gaming I really think you'll like it and I think it's a perfect game for community it addresses the one thing where there's no level cap on the actual like your character the number just keeps going up but you can only have a certain build which I think is uh, really awesome. Jim's here. Good morning, brother. How you doing? Good to see you guys. We are we are looking for supplies. We found it. There we go. I was trying to find a store because we don't have a base yet. So I'm trying to find just a basic store. Testing those water Trade. samples. Gold watch. What can we get for this? Sure. Is that all, all I have? Bender Bob. Here we go. What does he got? Why would I want a lead pipe? Why would I want this? He doesn't have my sniper rifle. Damn him. Okay, I'm trying to figure out the currency in this. So, that's just caps, right? Oh, I get it. Okay, so the stuff that you could buy in the online store uses the same currency. It's all caps. I think I got it. Flannel shirt. Mechanic jumpsuit. Road leathers. Undershirt and jeans. Skyfall, good morning. Cheers to you, buddy. Hope you have a nice hot cup of coffee. 
Or as our buddy David Hasselhoff would say, a hot cup of coffee. Yeah, our thoughts are with you, TJ. We're right there with you, buddy. All right, so he doesn't really have anything that I need. This is all the stuff he has, okay. Well, most of this stuff, guys, I have no idea what it does. Uh, bulk concrete. These are all mats for building. Good morning, Matt Rubin. How are you, my friend? Christoph, you're having coffee? Good for you. How many cups? I'm two, two in. Yeah, it's just everything. All right, well, we might need to get some food. I really? No, I'm not going to buy. I'm not going to buy food. What I also need to find is one of those storage boxes. I've also learned to take everything that's not nailed down because you can scrap it. Overcome. Overcome. Murder. Great. There's our... Is this it? Transfer. Overseer's cache. This is not our cache. Hmm. All right. We really need to find... I'm going to just get rid of this thing. I don't need any power armor right now. Uh, so I do have a little camp that I found, but I think where it's located, there's been a couple patrols, so I don't, I, I think I might, uh, relocate it, but, uh, the base building in this game is, uh, there's a lot to it, uh, to say the least, which is good, um, remember how I said I wish you could take over one of these settlements? Well, you totally can, you just have to put your camp marker inside the radius of a building and it's yours what you can't control is um say if there's a lot of you know bad guy for lack of better terms activity in that area uh when everything respawns it's just going to keep coming back right so you can't do anything about that hey mary welcome in how you doing google says the first sniper rifle location is just east of watoga at the flooded train yard. Really? It's apparently a guaranteed combat rifle with a scope spawn. Ooh, man, thank you so much for that. Um, so, Dargoon, Willie Low, I don't know if you saw that, he wrote to JT on the Discord, he said, if you're a Prime member, you get it for free. Now, I don't know if that's the Steam one or not, because uh, my buddy Zach wanted to play with us, but the console is not compatible, so this would be compatible with Windows Live, but the Steam one is not compatible with it, unfortunately. So that's something to take into consideration, too. Oh, man. this! Oh, yeah, I have more than one shot of this. One. That's right. Get owned today. Packers, how you doing? Heading off to work now. Got another weekend shift. Just wanted to stop in. Good to see you, dude. Uh, you have yourself a good day. Lisa is here. What's good? How you doing? Mm. 
My stash box. This is what we want, right? Yes. Okay. So where is this? Okay, it's just here. I can remember that. Because I can never find these stash boxes. Now, I'll eventually get one of my own base. But honestly, the one I've settled in, I don't think I really like the location overall. So I think we're going to have to change that. Um, and I'm going to check out that sniper location. That sounds good. So this stuff, I kind of understand what to do now in, in terms of scrapping. Um, so that's good. And we're a little bit lighter, actually. Not that much. Drop some more, maybe some weapons off. Trade stations have vendor stash usually. Okay, awesome. Okay, and I'm going to go to that location you were saying. East of Watoga at the flooded train yards. Oh, God. Okay. Now, I have no idea where that is. I don't know if we've been there or not. Where is Watoga located? We still need to go here from yesterday for our quest, but we can fast travel. Um, looks like it might be a location I haven't discovered yet. Okay, well, let's go back to this pumpkin guy and we'll continue and we'll hopefully stumble upon it. If not, we'll take a look for it at the break. 10 bucks, man. I guess it's going to save time, right? Ten bucks to fast travel? Yeah, well, Jim, like I was saying, you can actually uh, claim a house or a building. Um, you just have to be kind of careful so what spawns around it, right? So Which is really neat. And then you can add stuff into the interior. You can't change the way it's, you know, the way it looks or anything. But um, you can certainly add all this stuff. And there's so much cosmetic stuff in this game, it's crazy. So the, the fast food poll, I don't know. I don't even eat fast food anymore. It just these things kind of come to me, right? 54% McDonald's. That's the only one I can see right now. Cranberry bug. Okay. Thank you, Mary. I'm definitely going to... I'll check it out um, on the break. I'll just Google it because I don't think uh, I've uncovered that yet. Maybe I'll do it now before the chat gets too uh, behind. She's saved. Perfect. Uh, guys, really appreciate all your help. I'm uh, pretty green to this game. Definitely a noob. 
I didn't even know we were in West Virginia. How about that? Christoph, you're more than welcome, buddy. I don't think it's going to come to that, though, so don't worry. But you're always welcome to Canada. Dargoon? Oh, dude, I I used to live off it when I, when I was a meat eater. I even tried when I turned vegetarian. I tried, you know, to have the Big Mac with no meat and stuff like that, but it was a gross waste of money. Because um, they didn't even put, like, tomatoes to substitute for the hamburger. Do you know what I mean? They just charged you the same price. It was the same price, too, without the meat. I was like, yeah, okay, I can't do this. But, I, dude, I love the taste of McDonald's. It's just out of this world. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I want to know what the taste is. But even the smell when you walk into a McDonald's. Woo! Is that a bad guy? Hey, 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 I don't want to shoot that guy. I don't want to shoot that guy. Doggy, why do you got to make me shoot you? I'm going to try and outrun him. I'm a little soft still. The wasteland. I'm a little, little soft. I'm going to have to shoot because I have to look at the map. He's tough, this guy. He's owning me, guys. Six bullets. Okay, let me get out of here. Sounds like Conan music. Whoa. Alright. It's a legendary. Ah, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Everything's after me. All right, <laughs> all right. We're just gonna go down here for now. You gotta stay on the pathway, man. You gotta stay on the pathway. All right. Uh, all right. I'm almost dead. The dog really hurt me. Oh, God. The fries are crazy. The nuggets are insane. Yeah, it's all good. This dog won't leave me alone, man. Speaking moistly, welcome to the stream. What's going on, mate? Everyone's here after a uh, very long Friday Night Versus. I appreciate that. That was a lot of fun yesterday. Yeah, and all I have right now is my sniper. It's or my it's rifle, and it's not good for up close. Guys are making me hungry. Oh, nice, Mary. That's a good deal. Jim could go for Egg McMuffin.
Alright, this is where the quest is leading us. Nothing here, really. Uh oh, Abby's bunker. I set the pole up. Yeah, I know. I know. Chicken McMuffin? What the hell is that? My, You know what my creation is? We made a sungry. <laughs> I, I used to make... Uh, so you get a vegetarian hamburger patty. And then instead of actual hamburger buns... I would use uh, hash browns. Oh... So good. I'm not even alive. I was with a group called the Free States. We gave our lives trying to finish what we called the Scorch Detection System. The system will let you know when the Scorched are coming and has the means to help deal with the Scorch Beasts. If you can Whoa. Help, I like this place. I created a set of recorded instructions to complete the system. First, you need to find the final communications uplink. And chances are high... It'll need repairs. We entrusted it to a guy named Madigan and told him to place it on the antenna at top of the world. Find the uplink. You can use my workbench here to repair it. Then check in at the main SDS terminal to trigger my next recording. If you're still there, I really hope you're willing to help a dead girl out. If so, good luck. And if not, well, enjoy dealing with the scorched. And if by some chance this is Madigan, your timing sucks. Huh, interesting. Okay, we got hang on. I have too many quests up here. Hey JT, good morning, mate. So all this stuff we could take to scrap. Military ammo bag. Rat poison. The scorched are a real uh, threat, it would seem. Uh, and red folders, from what I understand, are what give us uh, new skills in terms of building, being able to build new types of structures. So we're on the lookout for any red folders. Here. This gun sucks up close. I need uh, no bullets. Actually, you know what? I think this one's just, it feels a bit more accurate. I know it's not as strong, but I'm going to go with this old crappy rifle for now. Oh, nice, man. Yeah, you would know how to cook those, buddy. <laughs> oh, everyone's talking about food. Oh, my God. I uh, usually once gym for me that are based with mushrooms. 
Um, I don't eat them anymore just because, uh, I don't know. Something that don't taste good, I just rather, I don't know, they just seem really, something's a little off with them. to set up this communication uplink. What do dog tags do? Anybody know? Dave, what's up, brother? Speaking moistly, just made omelet for breakfast. Hey. Oh, dude, that's great. Broccoli's so good. What are you saying, Dave? I, I said this the other day. I said, uh... What are you saying this weekend? I guess that's a Canadian thing? What do you guys do you guys say that? What are you saying this weekend? It basically means what are you doing? Oh, dog tags go to brotherhood, okay. Alrighty. Um Yeah, so I started messing with the base builder and realizing that materials are the big the big thing. I did purchase I think the Brotherhood of Steel walls were on sale. Um to get the shack, okay. Hell, jump. I want my kangaroo jump again. At first I didn't like it, now I want it back. Oh yeah, yeah, we got 20 in the chat. It's wonderful. I think uh, everyone has followed hype. But, you know, I appreciate you guys being here. Yeah, my guns are no good, guys. We need uh we need another gun. One shot missed. How how could this be? Short hunting rifle is not going to do me any good. It's the same damn thing. Alright. We're on the move. See? Looking at the chat. Now I'm dead. That's my fault. Did you see that? Did you see that? I ran into an elite. Oh my. Run. I'm almost at a... Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even the, the regulars are 30. Get to the shed! Did you see me run right into that like an idiot? Oh, now what's that thing? Out of my face. Ooh. Holy aggro. <laughs> Oh, 
Why does this world hate me? It hates me! For my radiation. I have no running. Mess with the widow? You wanna mess with the widow? Oh god! This gun sucks! It sucks! <laughs> oh man. <sighs> I feel like I have Ralphie's like Red Rider. <sighs> Ooh. Bartlett runs right into the elite. Ah! What is that stupid thing? How come every time I press the trigger, it's reloading this thing? Oh my god. There's cooker bugs everywhere. Oh, I'm, I'm in bad shape. I'm in bad shape. Look at this thing reload, man. This is not the kind of guy we want here. And you broke my armor, you mother. <sighs> no bullets for that. No bullets for this. How come I had all these pistol bullets and now I have nothing? All my bullets are for this thing. <laughs> you should try it, kid. Yeah, and speaking moistly, what did I do? I I don't need this machete. Idiot that I am. Threw it away. Well, that's what I get. That's what you get. All right, there, is that the shed? That's the shed. Well, you know what, dude? I'd rather watch a stream than 99% of the stuff that's on TV anyway. So I don't blame you guys. I have live streams on all the time or I'm on YouTube. I rarely watch produce content anymore that's just me though i'd rather watch just regular people do stuff okay we did that now Investigate site beta this way. God, I can't believe I ran into that elite. That was hilarious. Yeah, we need a group to take that down, yeah. Well we got we got no people. We're on a, a private server. Not that I would really want to group with strangers anyway. Oh no! <laughs> it's this thing again! <laughs> oh. oh, it's the road, thank god. They're not allowed to come on the road, right? Just go. I'm going to come back and kill that thing when I'm like 10 levels higher. Just because. Uh, today, breakfast was all about egg wraps with special sauce. That's what it's called. Uh, a little bit of hot sauce. I was toying with the idea of putting the Bomb Beyond Insanity in my uh, egg wrap this morning. I think I might start doing that. But, uh, I mean, that'll give you a little nice little start to your day.
But I have started actually cutting back on potatoes because I think I have like this weird sensitivity to them now. Which sucks because we just talked about how great french fries are. Uh, there's no way to have the map on the screen, is there? So, I guess you can't, right? What are we doing here? Investigate site beta. Uh-oh. It's a 20. Oh, this is not the same quest line, is it? We'll take we'll try and take them. That was not a good idea. He is really mad now. Can I go back to the vault? Please, I would like to go back to the vault, thank you. Where is he? Did he go? Oh my God. I'll be safe in here. He'll never see me. God. That was terrifying. Utterly terrifying. <sighs> All right. Um. Early warnings is what we're doing. Uh, have you said the last person who had it was a man named Might Again heading towards the top of the world? Now, where the hell would that be? Vault 94. Um, would this quest be marked on the map here? Fuck the pumpkins. You'll be 176? Dude, you'll make it. Modern medicine today? Come on. Easy. Ah, let's just go here. I don't know. We'll just do whatever quest is on the map. Pick up beer bottles, 10 of them. Why am I doing this? 
I don't know. I don't know if this is a quest I picked up or if this is a world quest. Search the wood estate. Let's check there. It's right next to us. It's not the years, honey. It's the mileage. Ah, Raiders. Perfect movie. Joins a very small list of movies, in my opinion, that are a complete 10. What would you guys give a 10 out of 10 to? Like a real, true, this is the perfect movie. It's flawless in every way. What would you guys put on that list? One shot. See, I would put... I would put Temple of Doom on there as well. And I know that's unpopular. Littering is bad. I didn't litter. What do you mean? What did I do? Star Wars? Yes. All three. For sure. I mean, I would. I'd put all three on there. Level, level 15. I'll take it. I'll take it. Super Troopers. Yeah? I don't think I've seen that all the way, man. Maybe I'll have to do that. You can say the usual suspects, right? Ghostbusters 1, Back to the Future. I think all three Back to the Futures are... Um, Realistically, though, I'm sure most people would just say the first one. Beverly Hills Cop. The first Beverly Hills Cop is friggin' perfect. Why are they all from the 80s? It can't be our generation that thinks that, right? Like, it just can't be our gen. Like, there has to be future generations. I mean, that's obviously the case. They keep... Going back to the well and just reselling and repackaging all the stuff that we love. What am I exploring here? Search the woods estate. And this? Motion picture? Uh, can't agree with you there, bud. Wrath of Khan? Yeah. Uh, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I, I wouldn't say it's perfect. Die Hard, yes. Die Hard 1, yeah. I could, I could see that. Yeah, I don't like the sight of this. Not as much. That wall saved me. Commando. Jim, what is that? Secondhand lions. I don't know what that is, dude. And if you think it's a 10, I should definitely know. I don't know what it is. Halloween 1, yeah. Predator 1, yep. K-1, 
Commando. All the, uh, like, I don't know, I would maybe not Running Man, but I would say all the early, like, Terminator, the early Schwarzenegger stuff, right? It's on me. Investigate. Search the Woods Estate. Okay, that's this. Okay. Conan and Robocop. First Ghostbusters, we said that. First Back to the Future. Oh, man. That's the one thing, brother. Speaking voicely, you're going to hate me. I've appreciated Robocop more since that awesome game came out last year for it, but I'm not usually a fan of Robocop. The first one is very, well, like most 80s movies, I think it's very dark, right? But it's there's just this level of, like, sleaze to it, you know? Robert Duvall, Michael Caine, about two old guys raising a young kid. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to check that out, dude. I haven't never heard of that. Two amazing actors. You know what I mean when I say that, though? Robocop in particular is so disgusting. Try to think of another movie I could kind of give you guys an example of. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I'm just saying it's got that level of sleaze, which it's supposed to, right? It's a dirty, disgusting future. Bullet Train. Hmm. I don't think I've seen that one. Perfect movie, really? Bullet Train? All right. That's a level 30, dude. It's a level 30 there, bud. Oh, that is it that thing again? Why am I picking a fight with those 30s? It's that same creature. It's the same damn creature again. Carpenter's thing. Yeah, um, I guess by that token, right, we could also throw Escape from New York on there. These are all 30s. Okay, I, I think I'm starting to get the uh, hint that I'm at a area I shouldn't be at. I'm like half the level of these creatures. Home Alone, yep, I would agree. Well, if we're going to do Home Alone, we're going to go Christmas. Vacation, Christmas Vacation, and Christmas Story, I still think is the best. Arrest warrant. This is the warden of Eastern Regional Penitentiary. Our last prisoner count came up woefully short. Obviously, there's been a mass breakout. 
<laughs> Bad Santa. It's pretty good. There, there you go. That's on the same level as Sleaze as RoboCop. Billy Bob is so good in that. Oh, man. He plays a sleaze bag really well. He's really good at it. Uh, I really don't think he gets enough credit for that role. Now, do yourself a favor, ladies and gentlemen. Do not watch the second one. If you've already done it, I'm sorry. Second one is brutal. And I often talk... Those of you who are on the stream all the time know, especially around Christmas, I'm always talking about Christmas story. Uh, it's my favorite Christmas movie. And everyone always says you got to watch the second Christmas story. You have to watch it. I can. I won't do it. You want to know why? Because Bad Santa 2. That's why. I can't, man. I shouldn't have watched Bad Santa 2. I should have known better. I flew too close to the sun. I watched it. Totally embarrassed. It's horrible. Whoa. Is this Starfield? What is this? Well, let's find out. He's playing himself in Bad Santa, yeah. I guess that's why Angelina liked him, right? He was the the uh, dirty old bad boy. Yeah, you know what, Jim? I only saw that for the first time, uh, I think, like two years ago. That one's good. What is this place? They stole part of the uh, the water park. Watch your back. Oh, raid! It's a raider camp. Take a hike, you piece of shit. Oh, really? Really? All right, Vic. Me, did you hear this? Hear what she called me? If I was at level fifteen. Let's try to provoke. You better get the hell out of here. What are you going to do about it? These raiders don't like me. Oh, do I have my vault outfit on? <laughs> well, there you go. That's why. How you doing? What's up, Vigman? Is Vault 76 out on Game Pass? I don't know. Um, it was on sale last week. It was free last week on Steam. Uh oh, they're gonna shoot me. I don't deal with losers. Oh my god, why do they hate me so much? Spacesuit. Yet I could come in here and like just wander around. I'll be back to deal with you later, Gene Simmons, brother. Oh my god. Listen, sir, I'm just trying to find out where the quest is. Oh, I want it so bad. 25. Alright. Well, this is the Raider Town. The Crater. What a hole. I'll see you later. My, my camp's going to be 20 times better than yours.
Stanley, I saw that uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night is the best Christmas movie ever. It's garbage day. Actually, that's Silent Night, Deadly Light Part 2. Thank you. It's garbage day. Can't get through it. We watched uh, the second one. Which was basically just a recap of the first one. It's kind of like what they did with Evil Dead 2 a little bit. But Evil Dead 2, I think they, they reenacted it at least. They did reenact it at least. Oh, look at that big, look at that big bozo. Where are you? Come on. Come on. You just wait till I get a better gun. You got Oh, it's another it's another elite. I'm not using my uh MMO thinking cap. <clears throat> I'm using my single player mentality here. Yeah, I'm in trouble. I'm wandering into areas where you need multiple people. And I'm unaware that I'm doing it. It was trash. Rocky 3 with Mr. T. Oh my god. I think I'm dead. They're still coming. Pa Rickford! Bubba about your party, man! That's it. It's fight time. I'm dead, guys. Oh, man. That deleted my account. You heard Billy Bob is drunk the whole shoot. Yeah. I mean, the performance is pretty realistic. I can see that. I mean, it really is. <coughs> it's garbage day. Oh, yeah, you got to pick a... <sighs> Power Rickford. Spawn at Pickford's Fort. All right. Billy Bab said so. Repair Prickford's Fort Token Dispenser. Okay. The curator will announce the next show. Please stand by. Welcome to the Prickett's Fort historical site. Same with like uh Dazed, right? And I and like Days of Confused and like uh Fear and Loathing. I feel like all the actors that worked on all that, they like they had to be on something. The performances are just too, they're too good. They're too realistic. And you can kind of see it in their eyes, right? Maybe it's just because every time I've watched them, I've been drunk. So I don't know. But <laughs> maybe that's it. Hey, Dargood's back, baby. Three burritos. Not a boy. Burritos with poutine. Where is Miss Annie? Okay, sorry, I'm all over the place here. 
just still trying to figure out the questing. Um, we gotta go back to the, this park. I don't want to go back to this park, but we have to for this quest. Return to Miss Annie. So we're gonna do that first. Let's go there. I hate this part. Largo, I need a pistol, dude. Yeah. Like... I dropped all my stuff. Oh, there's this terrifying place again. I dropped all my pistols and stuff because they were low level. I'm just not finding anything on any uh, enemies that I can use. All I found really is rifles. Heads, look at my ammo. I have a thousand ammo. Uh, and this, this is not as good. Like the iron sight, I, it just doesn't register with me as well as my original rifle did. It's kind of off to the side a little bit. I mean, it is a pipe rifle, right? So it's a piece of garbage, but... Headshots are tough with this. There we go. Okay, have something. Shotgun shells, there we go. Okay. We'll equip the shotgun. There we go. That will help a little bit. There you go. 118. This thing will kick some butt for a while. I'll take another one in case this one breaks. And we'll head to the air destination. Uh, let me guess. It's going to be on the crocodile. Well, the beauty of this game, Dargoon, is I don't have an answer for you. I don't think you're the chosen one or any of that, right? Um, there's world quests. There's world events. There's, I don't want to say single player, but there's like NPC quests. There's really, um, it seems like, not unlimited. Maybe unlimited. I don't know. It just seems like there's so much to do in this. And I was kind of thinking that it would be a perfect community day game. Um, on top of that, there's base building that's really, really complex. Um, a lot of cosmetic stuff to it. I might be saying it's really, really complex just because I don't fully understand it. So keep that in mind. Um, but it seems to be really cool. There's a lot of stuff to find. Like you find initial plans throughout the world and once you read those plans then you learn how to build x item or whatever but the building of the character is really interesting in this so like i was saying the number will go up like yesterday i was on a public server and i saw there was a guy who had like over 2000 level but um you can only have a certain build so you can't be god tier and be good at everything, right? You have to pick and choose where you spec into. That's really interesting to me. Dan, what's up? We're surviving another day. Welcome on in, my friend. Good to see you. Are you going to be joining us in Fallout 76 or what? Tomorrow will be the big first community day for this bad boy. Um, and I'm really looking forward to playing this multiplayer. It's uh, crazy to think that you could play Fallout multiplayer. Well, Jay, this game has been out since 2018. That's true. But it's not the same game that it was when it started. It's much better. There's the machete. There we go. We got our hand-to-hand -hand weapon. Let's favorite that. I've alerted the whole park to my presence. Let's favorite this shotgun. Uh, favorite? Perfect. Okay. We're in a little bit better shape now. We got a melee weapon. We got a shoddy. I'm definitely not as good at, with the shotgun. I prefer the rifle, but we got to deal with what we got to deal with.
I just mean in general, is it a game that interests you? Sniped! Sniped! Go around this way. Yeah, it's gonna be really cool to like be able to plan out attacks and stuff like that. Feel like it's strategic, and I gotta be honest, the daily quests and stuff like that, I'm a sucker for it. It gets me every time. That's how I stuck with WoW for so long. Also, what I think is appealing about this game is you could do stuff by yourself, or you could do it with a group. And uh, us having a private server too, we could build our bases. Don't have to worry about anybody else. And farming resources and that'll just be us. Yeah, I'm not good with the shotgun. Crow Resin, hello my friend. Welcome on in. How's your uh, Saturday going, mate? Definitely good to see you here. Hey, we were just talking. We were talking about perfect movies. Like 10 out of 10 movies. Do you have any to add to our extensive list? We've had quite a few entries. I'm just wondering if uh, you have any uh, top 10 movies. Den, same as you. You got anything that... Uh, oh, I don't like that. Got anything you want to add? Uh, it's not so bad when you get close up to it. Ugh. You! You are returned. And my Freddy? I didn't find Freddy, but I found a note. This you found at the home? Yes. Oh, my poor child. Such fear. The writing says he went to safety before the bombs. This he could live! Merci. These things I have found. You must take as reward. 75 buck. Oh! Oh, what did I get? What gun is that? Oh, I just got a submachine gun. Oh, Perfect Storm. It's a different gun. It's favorite that. 17 damage, but it's got burst. Oh, that's nice. Don't have many bullets, so we'll save that. Uh, the power armor is not something that everybody strives for. It depends on your build. If you're tanky, so you, my friend, uh, will probably like it. Um, I'm going to do a sniper again, so... I don't know. Y yeah, you can find power armor anywhere. I found a couple suits so far, and they last as long as your power core is active. Once that is dead, I don't know if you have to get a new one or recharge it. But you can upgrade the armor. Uh, that's not the goal, though. Right? It, the goal is like any of these games. You get, you, get, uh, you get out of it what you put into it. Retrieve your drop loot. Oh, yeah. I'm encumbered. Okay. So Crow says Matrix would be a perfect movie. Okay. All your top 10 mostly are from uh, 80s and 70s. Yeah. I would say same. Dead says Invent Horizon. I've never seen it, brother. Alien. Get new paper targets. Where is that? Uh. 
Oh, I gotta, I gotta track it. That's why it's not. There we go. Toggle active. There we go. My bad. I would say all you guys are, yeah, you're right on the money there. And like, and like uh, I was saying earlier too, I would put all three Star Wars up there. Even though I know what, a lot of people think about Return of the Jedi, but I would still put it up there. We're going to go down here, but we're going to clean this out first. Jesus. This is where you need the grenades that I threw away. There's that case we need. Ah, I'm just gonna go down there. Screw it. Ew. Flooded water park. No thank you. Modern movie, well, like what's modern, like 90s? Like, others, Casino, Goodfellas, but that's 90s, man. I don't want to say that that's modern, right? Well, modern would be like the last five years. Fusion Core. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe, maybe we should hit the eject button first. Let's put that back in there. Oh, no, is it too late? Dargood says, top 10, Star Wars, Alien, Empire, Thing, Conan, Jedi, Terminator, Aliens, Predator. You are correct, sir. This guy gets a prize. Absolutely. Modern 2010s. Okay. Okay. So can we think of a perfect movie that is from 2010 and up? Two thousand and ten and up. I don't know if I could do that. Two thousand and ten and up. Come on, what's the movie that I've seen lately? Oh, oh, Dark Knight is like one year off. Damn it. Okay. Can I qualify Dark Knight? It's 2009. Come on, give it to me. Okay, we got our item. Go back here. What is this? What is this here? Why is it not telling me what these are? Dark Knight counts. Thank you. Two thousand. Oh, actually. <laughs> All right. Well, it, speaking moistly is the judge and jury here. If two thousand eight counts, let's do it. If not, I'll think of another one.
Jesus Modern for me would be like 1995. How sad is that? WYNC, good morning. How you doing, mate? Happy Saturday. Wonderful to see you. Everyone seemed to survive versus last night. Appreciate that. That was a, a fun three plus hour live stream. I don't know what these markers are. I'm going to find out, I guess. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I saw that coming. Not good at melee combat in these games, guys. At all. But we got it. We got a machete at least this time. Come on, you want some? It's like hit for hit with me. It sucks. Rad X. Give me all the rads. I need it. Pen. Why did I pick up a pen? Bobby pen. I'll take that. Yeah, we, I, I definitely agree on what you guys were saying. Let's do vehicle drivers. I, I totally agree. Yeah, we need to do that. They don't get enough love. End game. Nah, I couldn't do that. Toy Story 3, eh? Okay. Interesting. Uh, never saw Toy Story 3. What level is that? Ah, oh, these level 30s again. Alright, we're just gonna go over here. Forget that building. These 30s are camping, man. We do we gotta shoot these? Activate. Okay, we just have to activate these gun range targets. I don't know why, but we're doing it. Cause the quest is telling us to, that's why we're doing it. There we go. We did it. I think we're close to another level up as well. Oh, that was a daily. Nice. See? I'm thinking of modern movies. I think of Office Space. That is anything but modern. That's like 99. Dudes, I'm telling you. Okay, we're going to level up. Let me just make sure that this area is clear. There's those 30s over there. Hopefully there's nothing in here. Ugh. Ugh. Pipe pistol. Uh... Let's eat this pie. That looks safe. God, there's so much stuff to look at. And every little boathouse key. There's so much detail in this game. Eat. Pot of spices. Why not, man? I mean, I gotta eat, right? A gal's gotta eat. New pack? Alright, let's do that. We leveled up. Two levels to go. Here we go. You have unopened packs. Let's do it. Come on. Sniper spec. Let's go. 
and bubble gum. <laughs> the best way to have a clean conscience is to never use it. All right. Uh, did we get anything for perception? I don't think so. Let's level up our perception. Basic combat training means rifles do 10% more damage. That's a, that's what we should definitely take. Crack shot with pistols. I don't think we got anything for perception. Uh, we still have the level 1 lockpick. Rifleman. Expert rifleman. Your non-automatic rifles now do 10% more damage. Uh... Skeet shooter, your shotguns have improved accuracy and spread. You have six per. Hey, dude, you got lunch and or dinner, Dargoon. There you go. Django, yes. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Mm. There you go. 10 out of 10. Can, I, can we stack these? Yes, you can. So no, level two, expert rifleman. Yay! Oh, we're going up. We're moving on up. We're moving on up. Look at our deck. It's looking good. We're stacking it up, ladies and gentlemen. That was good. Yeah, what's a part of time in, in Hollywood, man? No joke. And I'm not saying that simply because Brad Pitt is my favorite. Although that's a good part of it, but the movie's fantastic. Especially that end. Um, much like in Glorious Bastards, there you go. Another 10. Boom, right there. Where uh, Tarantino rewrites history. I definitely like that. He seems to write a lot of the wrongs that have happened. All right. That was good. Now we got a couple quests. We could go back over here. Repair Power Rickford's Fort Token Dispenser. Talk to the curator. Or we could head. I could show you guys where the camp is, but I feel like I'm really going to move it. Because I don't know exactly what I'm doing in terms of uh, location. Find out what the key unlocks. We could go here. So let's let's go. We'll go out west. Let's head out west. Nine caps. We can almost buy our own ship for that. Paying to move here. Over encumbered. We can't anyway. Oh yeah, the stupid beer hat. Why do I have the beer hat? Get rid of the paramedics jumpsuit. No, I'm going to keep that. Yeah, these things don't even cost anything to keep anyway. Or to carry. I'm going to take both those back. So what? Cosmetic things don't add weight to your character. Drop that. Machete, we're going to keep recoiled. Ah, uh, we'll keep that. Hunting rifle, we're going to get rid of. There we go. Now we're going to fast travel out west. Yeah, if you look at old school cable, Dargoon. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who who still has it in the chat. If any of you guys do, um, 
I got rid of mine a long time ago. And just to think that, yeah, we sat there. I mean, we still, there's still commercials, right? Even if you watch something on Tubi. I mean, you got to pay for it somehow, right? The, the, the service has to be paid for to get it. But it's not even close to what it was like. Just to think, yeah. What do you mean I got to watch this show at 9 o'clock? And, and if I miss it, what? Can you believe there's like a generation that doesn't even know what that that's a thing? If you miss the show, that's it. This is before the the recorders, what are they, PVR, is that what they were called? This is before all that existed. It's just like old school TV. Um, you know, if you miss G.I. Joe at 4.30, that's it. You missed it. You don't know what the episode was about. And unless your buddy saw it, I can tell you, you just missed it. That was it. Whoa. Vault 51. Whoa. Why would I think it's open? <laughs> Walk right up to the front door. Hey, can I come back in? Please? I don't like it out here. It's really rough. Oh, I can enter through there. Do we want to go in there? I think I think we should. Nothing out here. All right. Let's see if we can find a way into Vault uh, 51. Yeah, all Tarantino. The exception to that would be Kill Bill. And I'm sorry for the Kill Bill fans out there. It's not for me. I've tried to watch it. That's the only one. Oh, my God. This place is great. Look at this. I love it. I'll just take this. I'll drink it right here. Wow. A soda machine. Whoa. Travis, what's going on? Welcome on in. Need to find a workbench so you can scrap the junk and start getting supplies or building. Yes, I do. Scrap weighs less than the items. Okay. Okay, we'll do that, my friend. Thanks for the uh, tips. I want these cardboard cutouts. Boiled water this looks straight station. bad. Wow, look at this. This must be an abandoned mole? This is in such great shape. Okay, so here's a question. Mo, that's a great comment, by the way. Would you want to go back to it? Because we often talk about missing places like Blockbuster. Right? But, would we really want to go back to it? If we could go back to, let's say, what's a good point? Before the internet, like 92, 93, would you guys really want to do that? And I get the nostalgia of going to video stores. I miss it, too. Um, I don't miss returning the movies because that was a pain in the butt. But I, I do miss just the movies themselves. They just seem to have more value back then because it was such a big decision. You drove all the way to the video store. You paid for it. You got to drive it all the way back in a couple of days. So you weren't just like, eh, yeah, whatever, we'll just throw this on, right? The decisions had more weight to it. Mutron, what is up? You're never too late, my friend. Good to see you. I'm doing good. How are you? I want this statue for my headquarters that I don't have yet. Unlock. Ruben's safe key. Okay. Passwords! I'll take the passwords. Helen is the password. Okay. Scrap items. Okay, we're going to scrap items. Uh, scrap all junk. Right? This is what we want? Yes. All right. I'm going to scrap this beer hat. 
Keep the gas mask. I want this standee. How do I take this? Give it to me. Okay, so we can't go and access the entire vault. It's just this one little section, which makes sense. Can I take that? Why can't I collect dollies in this game? I just want dollies for my collection. Oh, a visitor. Oh, I thought this day would never come. I haven't had a visitor in ages. Welcome to the Appalachian Shelters Claim Center, visitor. I'm called Mr. Clark. It's my job to help eager new customers such as yourself take your first step into the miraculous world of shelters. Oh, cursory analysis suggests you are likely here to... Goodness. Forgive my tone. 3 I'm experiencing some memory issues. <clears throat> As I was saying, a bright-eyed visitor like yourself must be here to claim your free shelter today. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I'm here for shelter. Dargoon, I'll address that by saying... Uh, Dargoon says, Borderlands 1 world is more appealing to me than this one. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's your opinion, yeah. I, I, I get it. This is like a... Alternate 50s reality, right? The bombs went off. That's why everything is 50s decor. I guess you just got to really be into that. Everything is really worn out and run down in this game. But this is not like... I know you don't think it's like Borderlands the game because it's not. Borderlands is just a grind loot shooter. This has got a lot more depth to it. Uh, aesthetically, I can see what you're saying, though. Splendid. Before I can distribute your shelter to you, you'll need to register as a shelter owner. The terminal in the back will guide you through it. Once you've finished We don't have the mystery and wonder and anymore, Speaky Moistly says, about our cable talk. Oh, Mr. Sandman. Wait, do we need the password or we already got it here? Okay, I have to do uh, registration. Okay, now what? Is Vault 51 mine now? Looks like you've successfully registered as a shelter owner. Congratulations, visitor. A marvelous new world of home expansion awaits. This is mine now? I'll your free shelter to you, along with some materials to build your shelter's entrance. As a personal thank you for being my customer. Before we part ways, visitor, is there anything else I can help you with? How did I got my own shelter? Oh my god, I'm rich. Yeah, I just love the I love the look of everything fifties. Speaking moistly, the the pseudo futuristic look of everything. I just I think it's awesome. One of my favorite parts in the show actually were the flashbacks when everything was brand new, still and not nuked. I loved it. Gives you a shelter you could set up at your camp. No way, no friggin' way, dude. That's so cool. Certainly. Your free shelter is a complimentary expansion for your home, modeled after the very claim center we're standing in. It comes equipped with workshop functionality, so you can get started building and decorating right away. Simply place the shelter entrance you claim today in your camp and prepare to enter a bright new world of home expansion. Oh my god, that's wicked. Now, I'm going to have to have the materials to do that, right? Shelters are the homes of the future. Perfect for post apocalyptic. That's living. so cool, man. Each shelter is a unique interior. I thought I was going to have a wood log decorate. base for a while. All shelters come equipped with workshop functionality to allow you to create the home of your dreams and escape from the dangers of Appalachia. Shelters are accessible via entrances like the one I just distributed to you. Simply place the Darguna, yeah, I like that. I'll read that out loud. Mr. Clark's done here. I can help you with? 
Yeah, Dargood says, I agree with, uh, speaking moistly here, movies were not spoiled by the internet when you were watching a movie in the 90s. There was very little about, except for the description on the back of the box. Yeah, and there had to be effort put into the arts. I mean, you look at a lot of the uh, Netflix original movie posters and the Tubi movie original movie poster posters, the art's just, it's just not, not very good. It's just not. So you had to go by the box art, much like classic gaming. Like, look at like the Atari 2600 era. Some of the most beautiful art box artwork is from that era. Especially the Activision stuff is crazy. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, the box was the advertising. Aside from trailers on TV, which you might or might not see, you may or may not see, the box art was really selling it all. And the two or three uh, paragraphs on the bottom. Or the back of the box, that would be, uh, I already spoke to Mr. Mr. Clark. I already spoke to him. What do I have to speak to him for? <clears throat> and one thing, you guys know that I'm not a huge fan of, of Disney. Um... Especially modern Disney, but one thing that I really like that Disney does um, with uh, Disney Plus is that their releases, they stagger them. Every week, I realize that's not for the reasons that we think. It's not to be cool or to do it the old school way. It's to draw out your membership, right? I get it from a business standpoint. I get it. But I liked that when, for example, when Boba Fett was released that there was a new one every whatever day it was Wednesday and you had to wait till next Wednesday that allowed you to enjoy the show talk about it with your friends discuss it you know it wasn't like and I'm not slamming prime here but I'm just saying how fallout it was like here you go here's all eight and within a day I had people messaging me oh what'd you think of fallout you? it's just like what <laughs> And then you feel like that added pressure of having to binge it. it looks like Do you know what I mean? Because you feel like you have to finish it. I gotta finish his the conversation tree, I guess. Visitor, is there anything else I can help you with? Then allow me to extend a warm Shelters Claim Center farewell to you, along with my thanks for being my first customer. Enjoy your new home, visitor. There we go. We didn't finish that last uh, conversation. Quest completed. Home expansion. There you go. Well, that was worth checking out. My God, we should go to camp. Let's see... Uh, Let's see what this thing does. Uh, Jim says, modern movie trailers tend to spoil the best parts. Yeah, especially comedies. I would agree. Comedies always have the best jokes in the trailer. And then when you see it, you're like, oh. But I've already seen this. Okay, we're at our camp. As you can see, my base is nothing to write home about because I simply don't have materials. But that's the uh, the structure. This is where I've chosen to put it. Also, from what I understand in this game, you can purchase with caps other camps. So you can have more than one base, which you guys know I love my bases. Um, I just chose this random location. So there's a farmhouse straight ahead that does spawn power armor, which I thought was pretty cool. And it's kind of a little bit on a hill. But there's no immediate danger that I saw. So I decided to build here to start. There it is. My crappy shack. Now we're going to see what this shelter thing is that we just got. And how that works. So let's touch our uh, little camp robot here. Alright. Maybe there is a danger. What is that? There's a danger. There's a danger. Oh, God. Ew, it radiated everywhere. 
disgusting blob. All right, maybe I won't keep it here. You're going to keep it up and spawning enemies around here. I'm going to move my camp, but I mean it. Build. Now, where would my fallout shelter be that I just got? Where would that be? Welcome, man. Uh, quests. No, 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 no. Uh, what are these items? WYNC, you would know where where's the uh that new uh fallout shelter I just got. What would that what tab would that be under? Crafting. I do have a couple questions. Well, I got uh, you followed experts here since I don't understand. Oh, the the red cross out sign means I don't have the plan to be able to build that. Okay, got that. Wow, what is this? Generator. So I don't have the plants to make a generator yet, nor do I have the materials. Okay, I got that. Power conductors, lights, food, water, resources. <clears throat> Tavmatic, welcome to the stream. Snoopy. Well, you got that right. You got that right. Good to see ya. I forget which tab. That's okay, mate. No worries. No worries. Oh, we got a couple of Fallout first. Oh, here's our uh, scrap box. Yes. Okay, I was looking for this. Okay, let's go put that up here just so we can stash stuff. Oh, wow. No! Why do you keep running when I do that? So many buttons. So many controls. <clears throat> All right. Lights, food, water resources, appliances, beds, chairs, stash box. There we go. Can we put that down? Put that right, I don't know, right there for now. Build. There we go. And what's this other thing we got? This is from having a private server. You get these things. This is what, ammo? Yeah. I don't know if we need this. Put it up here anyway. Build it. Oh, this costs money to do that. Or materials. I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, I don't want to do that. All right, here we go. Bobblehead stand. So you can collect toys. Best game ever. All right, I want to catch back up on this movie chat here because this is really interesting. <clears throat> uh, speaking mostly, I agree with what you say. Uh, you need time to talk about theory. It what makes entertainment fun. You need time to process it. I agree. Uh, Largo says, modern movie trailers tend to spoil. Yes, we got that already. Uh, WYNC says, I miss not having the pressure to binge shows of fear of hearing spoilers. Right? That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Dargood says, having to wait between episodes was fun. We got to talk about it. I totally agree. I, I, I like the way Disney does that. And I think there's a bunch of you guys watching X-Men 97, right? So that's just on Disney+. Plus. Are they staggering them once per week? Yes, look, we got a dolly case. We can collect bobbleheads. And I already found one bobblehead, but we're not going to use that right now. More shelves so we can take some shelfies with our dollies. God, look at all this stuff. There's so much. What is this? 
Oh my god, a vendor? We can have our own vendor? We're gonna need a bigger boat. You could spend this is like Sims level. Wall decors. I was just looking for that shelter thing we got. Miscellaneous structure. What is this? Shelter. There it is. Oh, there's our shelter! So, okay. So we put this down, and that's going to build our underground shelter that's already going to be set up. I think I'm in love with this game. Like, I'm, I'm totally serious. So we're going to be able to put this down and have that vault 51, or part of that vault, where you can completely decorate it how you want. You can have little shelves for dollies. This has everything. This has things that will kill you in a second. It's got it all. Okay, Matt says x Men 97 is weekly. See, I like that. So do you think... I mean, I know. I don't even have to say it, right? It's just movies are undervalued now. They're dismissed. How many, how many hours, and I mean hours, do you spend on the couch... With your PlayStation controller, with your remote, whatever. Just trying to find something to watch on Netflix. Maybe I, I spend too much time, but... You've often heard the saying... You spend more time looking for the actual movie than you do the movie. Because we have access to everything. Especially if you go on something like Tubi. I'm not going to put the shelter down because I think I'm going to uh, find a better location. We can transfer our scrap. So I have a storage place for my scrap. I love it. Yes, my friend. I know. Seven days is awesome. I'm not taking anything away from it. But like you said, we've reached a wall. Um, the thing with a game like this is there is no wall because they keep giving you quests, right? That aren't just one or two variants. So it would seem seven days will never die. <clears throat> hey, we got a new member alert. Mutron78, thank you so much for the membership and welcome to the Arena Rockstar level, my friend. Much love to you. So the biggest perk at that level is you can be on a live stream on any one of my shows, including Versus with Chad. If you wish, you just have to reach out to me and let me know, but there's no pressure. Thank you for the support, mate. Matt, you don't? Okay, fair. I usually have movie time. Sometimes I know what I want to watch or, or show time or whatever. But like I said, a lot of the times... Oops. A lot of the times I'm uh, on YouTube, right? Watching creator videos. Okay, that's for our scrap. That's good. Okay, let's move on. So we found Vault 51, which gave us a really amazing gift. Uh, so they really reward you for exploring in this game. Can I fast travel there? Yeah, I think I kind of want to. Let's go over here. We have a. We have to repair that. I'm gonna. I don't know how far north I can go, but I think I want to explore a little bit north. We still have a quest, a couple quests down here. Craft a piece of armor. We haven't even done that yet. These are like beginner quests. Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew McCallum is in the chat. 
Well, come on in, friend. Good to see you. Is that shelter a mod, or is it included in the normal game? I don't play with mods at all, ever. This is uh, the pure game. I just found it. I was walking, and I found Vault 51 here. Um, it was a quest chain that brought me to here. But then that uh, butler gave me an icon for building within my camp. That's an underground little hatch that will give you 51 that you can fully customize. Uh, Mutron, thanks again, dude. Thank you. Uh, this is the new server map, Matt. Now, here's a question for you Fallout 76 players out there. How many expansion packs are out for this game? Does anybody know? Or do they kind of give you all of them when you get the base game? Does anybody know offhand? <clears throat> uh, let's head back. Here. I'm going to move up. I'm going to travel north. We have no armor, by the way. Oh, TJ, no. For being dehydrated. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Hang in there, dude. We're all uh, we're all thinking. We're all thinking about you. This is that raider camp, right? Yeah. We don't want to go in there. They're not nice. No expansion packs. Okay, so all those expansions I keep seeing for must be for Fallout 4 then. Hey, 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 hey! Wait a minute! Wait a minute, didn't I come into your camp? Oh, you'll play games? Alright, we'll play games. We'll play games. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. You want me to cross this area? Well, I'm definitely going to cross this area. One shot is here. And I'm going old school. The weaker rifle. It's got the better iron sight. I don't care. I think I got through this the other day, this part. Whoa. They're, uh, they're coming at me. Okay, got you, Matt. Well, that's good. We don't have to buy expansions then. They just uh, update it. Okay, maybe we'll just skip and walk around. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, I would like to find a nice, I think a better more highly elevated location to set up camp. I think that's the idea. Um, and I would like it to be around somewhere where we can farm mats. This is all burnt wood, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we're talking about uh, movies being devalued. I almost feel like, and I hope we don't get to, cannot go that way. Oh, uh, what is this? Are we at the edge of the map? We must be. 
Yeah, right here. Okay. Well, that makes sense. All above there. All right. Let's go back down here. I almost feel like we're getting that with video games, too. We're getting to that point. If all these weird rumors are true that's going around where there might not be a next console generation, at least for Xbox, you know, we already talked a couple weeks ago about uh, Star Wars Outlaws and how one way that you can play Outlaws is if you're subscribed to Ubisoft's monthly service for $20. I don't like that at all, man. Think about a game like... And I mean, I understand games like this, we don't... We don't own them. They're on the Bethesda server, much like Warcraft. But for a single-player game, the thought of having to be connected to Ubisoft, not just for them to farm your data, but just to be connected just because that's the way it is now is very frightening. I don't like that. You've not been that far north. Okay, well, we reached the fence. We can't climb that. So, Cameron, how you doing? Welcome on in. The only pet expansion stuff is just purely cosmetic items. Oh, that's great. I wonder if they'll change that now because it's so successful. <laughs> because, because of the show, which, once again, I think is awesome. And I'm glad Todd Howard is attached to it. Uh, movies aren't the events they used to be for sure. Everything will will be streaming soon. TV and everything. Uh, Mutron says, "Yeah." For the for the movie or for the business side of things with movie movies, we saw that during the pandemic because it was kind of a necessity for them to continue to do business, right? Who remembers watching Bill and Ted Three at home? Right? We had big blockbuster releases like Scorsese's The Irishman that had a very, very, very tiny theatrical release, but mostly was online. I don't know. It's, it's such a slippery slope, right? We're back to Vault 51. I'm not a huge moviegoer, but I mean... What did I just open? I opened the vault? What if I get trapped in there? Oh my god. We're going in. Uh, it, I was just saying, if, if movie theaters were to go away, I would admit I would be sad. Uh, the last movie I saw was Indiana Jones last summer. I mean, that's the kind of thing, for me at least, I feel like you kind of have to have that old school movie theater experience. I don't know, man. Jeff is here. Good, uh, well, we're on the cusp of the afternoon. We'll take the afternoon. Good to see you, man. Happy Saturday to you, my friend. Oh. I want this! Give it! How do I take this? I want this! Okay, that's how we get out. Alright, so what's going on? We're in this vault. Something's going on. Ghouls, it's been taken over. Alright, well, we're just going to take our time going through here. Red book? Red book? No, we want a red file is what we need. That's what gets us the, uh, the new schematics regarding Nancy's death. Part of the swarm. Uh, Matt says, I'm sure we've talked about this before, but I barely ever go out to the theater anymore. Yeah, I mean, I don't like it either. I haven't liked it for 
Well, I've never really liked it. But I will say the big events, Star Wars, Indiana Jones. I like Data to... suggests it is customary to knock before entering someone's home. I like to uh, experience well, that on the big screen with buddies, right? Just got a new hollow tape. <clears throat> Wild turkeys in the house. Uh, Mutrot says something of a social leper, so streaming services are great, but I still like going to the theater for the big opera. Same. Wild turkey says I have a soft spot for BK, even though their service sucks. Does BK own Tim Hortons? Uh, no. Not that I know of. Burger King burgers always taste dirty to me. Who's recording this stuff? I think I aggroed the whole uh, area. Oof. Broke my leg. This guy's going to break my head. All right. I'm, I'm in trouble. Okay, with the hollow tape. Shut up already. Okay. Zach, that's enough. You can't listen to that anymore. Helen, you, you need any help in it? Oh. Jeez. What happened here? Request process. Playing audio log. No, Zach. Not necessary. Just take these guys out. There we go. Listen to this hollow tape's like forty years long. Anymore. Someone needs to clean this up. Wait, Helen, I I'm sorry, Helen. Dog tags. Take those. What? Where are you? I hear you. Don't scare me. I'm looking for stuff. <gasps> This is a nice room. I know I'm thirsty. I know, I know. Uh, Tim Hortons is pretty much available. While other vault dwellers I think Ohio, Michigan, I think you as can. And there's some places in the far south, I think. Continue as normal. 
All restaurants international. Thanks, Jeff. I didn't know that. Oh! Scorch Wendigo. Headshot! We'll take this guy. We got him. We got him. There we go. He's down. Three caps, shotgun shells, bobby pin, wendigo teeth. Whoop. Loose screws? Do we need that? I don't know what we... I'll take this stuff. I have no idea if we need it. <clears throat> Somar, how you doing? What are you saying? Welcome on in. We are playing some 76. We just stumbled upon Vault 51 and got gained access to it. I have no idea what's in here. We're finding out. How you doing? Oh, they have Popeyes too. Okay. Wild Turkey, take care, bro. Thank you for hanging out. This is a really nice setup in here. Always take the loose screws. Hello. Okay. Zax, is it? Well, I'm sure you've been told about my husband and I. Yeah, it's almost like for scrapping, you have to go on separate well, scrapping kind of uh, but of excursions, right? Damn. What does the overseer have planned for this place? Uh, I think we hit a mine. I think we hit a mine there, guys. Thunderbolts. That's not... Oh, you mean... Um, not the Transformer Joe crossover, right? I don't know if I've seen the uh, seen anything about that. Recording. Overseer Reuben Gill. May twentieth, twenty eighty four. Overseer Gill. Welcome to the security room. Who do you have business with today? Go away, Zax. I don't have business with anyone. You have many hmm. events on your agenda today, Overseer Gill. Your position is very Maybe important. I should just take over this Overseer vault, Gil. right? No, no, stop Loot absolutely that. everything. If you become encumbered, don't hey. drop it. Just spawn your survival what tent. Do do survival what? tent. The Overseer has many duties. Also, the Overseer's rations are ready for deployment. Unfortunately, as I have noted, you have not earned this meal, so it will. How do you spawn the survival tent? Disappoint you. I don't care about that. Transformers I don't 1. I've seen own. parts of the trailer. I don't know what to think. Records show that Reuben Gill has no business in the security room, so I must demand that you leave. It's definitely a lighthearted look at... 
at uh, Transformers, right? It seems that way to me. When you get a hit in this, you don't just take a hit. Like, you get slammed back. It's pretty cool. Look at this. We got a boxing ring. Man, this place is huge. I hope someday I have a vault like this. Oh, my God. I... I got it. Make it. Oh, look at all these standees. Oh, standee heaven. Instruments. Oh, if it's for kids. Yeah, it seems like it's for kids. Uh, so I think that's cool. Short. I think Hasbro has always been really good. Uh, Toy-wise, especially. Um, making Transformers a lot like Turtles, where it appeals to multiple generations. Almost every generation, they're doing something different. Whether us old school fans like it or not, I still think it's good that they do that. It's important to continue it. Um, so it's for kids. I think that's great. I do. Almost dead. <sighs> Two deaths in here. That's rough. That's rough. One more round in there, and then we're going to move on. Cameron, I'm not too sure if you're still here, but how do I spawn this tent? Spawn your survival tent. And put it in a scrap box. Oh, I got it. I got what you're saying now. Okay. Oh, this is 16. Wait, I'm 16, aren't I? This shotgun. Not very good from far away, obviously. Oh, okay. All right. Try harder than that. Beach. Oh, no, that's okay. No, I'll figure it out. But that's good. Yeah, that makes sense because I'm like, well, I want to loot stuff, but 
I don't have much space, right? So, yeah. That's a good tip to know. Thank you. Not a problem at all. Hey, for all you new people out there, if you like the stream, if you like the content, please don't forget to uh, give a sub. I would uh, much appreciate it. And I stream Wednesday through Sunday at 10 a.m. And tomorrow, actually, if you're a channel member, you're able to participate in our Fallout 76 Community Day on our private server. So we get all the loots. We get all the spawns. We get all the whatever. We get all the whatevers. Um, so we were talking Kenneth, about... If you remain here, you will be safe from fire. You are likely to be shot soon. We're talking about uh, 80s movies that are perfect. And I had said earlier that I would put Beverly Hills Cop 1 on that list. Is there anybody in the chat that is excited for the new Beverly Hills Cop? I guess it would be the fourth one. I think it's just called Axel. It's coming out this summer. Anybody into that? It gets so weird. It's just on Netflix. So it's just like you're going to wake up whatever day it comes out. And it's like, oh, there it is. thought the trailer was all right. Um, it's very, it looks very... Uh, action orientated which i guess that's kind of what they became especially by the third one but uh i like the slow burn of the first where you got a little bit of action at the end i don't think there's anything else we could do in here i mean there I'm not age shaming because we're all getting older, but they're getting up there. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Sorry, I'm stuffed again, guys. Actually, hang on. But I, I'm going to check it out. I mean, let's put it this way. It can't be worse than three. Three was three was pretty friggin' bad. All right, I'm gonna head back over to here. I don't know if I want to spawn at the toxic lake. I have sedge. Go back to Perrickford. I'm just wondering why Axel is still a cop at like 60 years old. That's all. And Taggart, I think Taggart was older than him. Unless Axel's like the chief of police or maybe Billy or Taggart are the police of chief now. Uh, the chief of police, I should say. Repair preference. This is repair lodge. Okay, how do we do that? Welcome to the Prickett's Port historical site. Hello there. Hello. You must be from the archaeological preservation team. I have a real problem here. While building new outhouses, we discovered the remains of a Civil War Union soldier. Although the body is highly irradiated. I just I want to know how or how or why Axel is still an active police officer. Now I need you to properly inter the body in the Philippi cemetery. And it needs to Murtaugh was turning forty, buddy. No, Axel is sixty years old. 
almost like a lot of people died recently. But Murtaugh was supposed to be retiring. I think he was 40 or 50. Maybe he was 50. Maybe he was 50. Uh, okay, Cameron says, on PC, open your favorites tab. The prompt for the tent should show up. Favorites tab. Uh, that can't be. Not this thing. Survival tent. I don't even know what, didn't even know what this thing is. You have to be somewhere to spawn this? Or can you just put it anywhere? Let's put it here. You cannot place your survival tent near existing locations. I'm just going to put it down here on the road. Wow. Thank you, Cameron. I had no idea this thing even existed. Now, we could just place this anytime. Wow, that's crazy. Dude, that's amazing. Matt, I Matt, I think he was I think I think he was turning fifty because he was retiring, right? I think he might have been 50. Does anybody know in chat Murtaugh's age, a lethal weapon? It's got, it's got, you don't retire at 40, so it's got to be 50. Oh, nice, Kristoff. You have a few friends that are police. Right on. Wow, this is a great help to have this. Because I was looking for these train stations and I couldn't find them. I'm not too familiar with the map. So this tent thing is really cool. Is there a limit on these? Or you just spawn it whenever you need it? And it goes away eventually. That's so cool. We can play the banjo. We can cook. 50, okay. I'm getting too old for this. You know what? Lethal Weapon 1 is wicked. What a dark... See, again, another dark movie. Think about Rig's story. Rig's story is brutal. Oh, this is great. This helps out so much. But we still have... Okay, so what's taking up all the space for weight then? Because it says I'm 144 of 160. What is it? Is it all this stuff? It's got to be all this, right? Let's see. Well, that took one away. Yep, okay. What's Excel? Add two to all specials for two minutes. Increases hunger and thirst. Anytime, anywhere, as long as it isn't close to existing places, you can drop anything. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and I guess that would make sense because the way the game is built mechanic-wise, you really couldn't do an excursion, right? Because you'd have to run all the way back to whatever station or your base and drop it off, and you wouldn't be able to run. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, I see a lot of this space is from, uh, I have a luck bubble head. A lot of this space is from, uh, medical supplies. I don't think I need all this stuff. I don't want any of the drugs. 
Super stem right away, rad X. Rad resistance, we'll take that off for now. Yeah, this helps for sure. I'm not gonna get my guy addicted to Psycho. Not again. Almost every character I've had has been addicted to Psycho. Disease cure. There we go. Yeah, we have 1,200 slots. This is good. This is good. All right, that freed up a bunch. <coughs> Let's go repair this dispenser. So you could really just loot any kind of settlements, right? And just drop your tent right out front. That's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I guess my issue with a lot of these communications of the story movies is like the time between the originals. Oh, Mutron, we've talked about that so much, mate. Yeah. So um, one of my biggest problems with uh, J.J. Abrams writing in Star Wars is that he sets up questions that will never be answered. And then you have to... Oh, well, you didn't know how Kylo Ren got his helmet or whatever? Well, that's in, uh, you know, Star Wars issue 16 of the Marvel comic book. So I think the, the comic books should be separate stories, but I don't think you should have to read outside source materials to find out these answers. And even then, we didn't get answers, I think, to a lot of that stuff. I think that's kind of what you're saying, right? You're also saying member berries, right? Yeah, member berries we've talked about a lot. The next show. Please stand by. Uh, where is my... Get the remains. Right here. Scrap box is only for drug items. Okay. Appreciate that. Okay, we got the remains. What's that? Oh. A little overkill, isn't it? Okay, so that's done. Put the remains of the open grave. Do that. Yeah, the nostalgia bait's a big problem, too. Um, trying to recreate lightning in a bottle. And you guys know I talk about Ghostbusters all too much. Yeah, as much as I love the first two, that's the example I always cite. Uh, 
The 2016 one is a prime example of getting four very talented comedic uh, actresses, putting them in a role and trying to force that spontaneity. Uh, it didn't quite work. Um, and then on top of that, you kind of trash everything that came before it. Because you don't really mention anything. It's just like Ghostbusters did a thing. I think that's what it says at the beginning. Um, but even further than that, and I think what's worse is the new ones. That although they're expanding on the lore... It's... Like, what are you doing here? You have, like, children... Are the Ghostbusters now, and then Paul Rudd? It's like a this family thing. I don't know, man. It's, it's just not for me. That's all. So, I'm perfectly fine that there are people that like the new Ghostbusters stuff and get stuff out of it. It's just, it's just not for me. Because Ghostbusters wasn't about that. Ghostbusters was a comedy. It wasn't about the tech. That stuff was just what they used. That was their you, you their tools. And then you see in the new Ghostbusters, these items that were the tools are now being treated like Excalibur. You know, it's like the artifacts. It's just like, come on, man. I can't, I can't do it. Not everything has to be a thing, not a legendary thing, you know what I mean? My apologies to uh, the regulars that are here all the time because you guys have heard me say that on more than one occasion. But I don't rip on If you like it, that's all that matters. Me and Dedic Geek are talking about this all the time. All that matters is that you enjoy it. I will never rip on somebody for liking something. <clears throat> Matt, and as you can see, um, I like the shotgun. Or I like the sniper rifle. I'm not so good with the shotgun. I'm not good with the shotgun at all. This is what we're dealing with right now. Must equip a shovel. Uh, do I have a shovel? Uh, let's just get into a safe spot. I don't think that I have a shovel. Uh. Oh! Oh, no, dude. No, no, no. Don't ever apologize, mate. Don't ever apologize for stuff like that. It's uh, it's fun to talk about, right? I mean, this is the stuff we... This is our world, right? Civil War era suit? I'll t I mean, I'll take it. Um, bow knife. They're not going to take a chance. Confederate uniform. Black powder pistol. Whoa. What does that do? Yeah, I don't think you're going to see a lot of these companies take chances anymore, man, because they're afraid they're not going to get their money back. But the problem we're getting now is that uh, people of our generation, who these are being made for, they're starting to get sick of it. Oh, yeah, I got no no ammo for this thing. Look at this thing. Yeah, I don't want this. Or that.
Union uniform. Black powder pistol, another one. I guess you just use raw gunpowder, right? Uh, powder. Shovel beside the grave. Did I miss that? Thanks, brother. There she is. W Y N C for the win. Uh, Christoph, yeah, no, I do like Ghostbusters. I like the original. Um, I'm just saying the new ones are not for me because it doesn't make sense when you have kids running around with nuclear accelerators. Uh, you had grown adults that were scientists that could barely contain them. That's just me, man. I understand, you know, Egon's granddaughter being able to use the thing. Sure, she's a kid genius and all that stuff. I could get behind that, but it just doesn't interest me anymore. That's all. My survival tent. Thank you, Matt. <clears throat> Yeah, Mutual, my, my channel, every show that I do, every live stream I do, is it's a safe space, man. Uh, the one thing that I really love about our community is we all have varying degrees of opinions. Uh, and we all respect each other for it. So you're never going to get, you know, the hate or anything for having a different view on something. Especially when it comes to video games and dollies, right? What? Give me that food. Why the dog? How the dog open the door? How the dog open the door? Or I didn't hit a button. I don't want any of those uniforms. Did I hit this? Yeah, I don't want that. Let's drink a beer. We owe it to ourselves. Ah, that was good. The Civil War Museum. That was fun. Uh, now it looks like we have to continue west here, Black Bear Lodge. Yeah, we have repair the Black Bear Lodge check-in terminal. Okay, I think I'm just going to walk there, save a little bit of caps. Oh, Mutron, that's awesome. That's good to hear, man. I'm glad you uh, glad you enjoy the community. We have fun. It's just, it's a really chill environment. All the shows I do. We get hyper, that's for sure, but it's all fun. He was a smart dog. He could open the door. <laughs> I mean, he's really smart. Use his mouth to open the doorknob. That Matt, the little girl genius who knows how to fix 
nuclear backpacks. I, I understand that. That I could get behind. It's Eon's, Ego, Eon's, Egon's granddaughter. I'm fine with that. But the other kids, you know, there's the scene they're driving around in the new one. Like, fighting the ghosts of the streets. It's like... I don't know. But how do you make Ghostbusters go on? I mean, they managed to do the cartoon for quite a while. And that seemed to work. I, I would have liked the idea that the Ghostbusters would have been like a franchise. And I've heard a few people say this idea. You know, uh, Venkman was so obsessed with making money. And that was the whole point, right? Let's go into business for ourselves so we don't have to uh, essentially work anymore, right? That was his idea. Who cares if this, you know, works? People are going to call us up and we're going to go and do our little show. And uh, if we catch the ghost, if we, that's great. If we don't, who cares? We're still going to get the money is the idea. Obviously, they trashed the ballroom in their first call, right? So I like the idea that... Uh, Vinkman takes it a step further after Ghost Whoa. After Ghostbusters 2 and wants to Jesus franchise the Ghostbusters. My health. We're dead. That was a complete panic. So he franchises the Ghostbusters. Now you have all these chapters of Ghostbusters. Let's just keep it simple. Let's say it's just in, like, America. Um, and Venkman's just sitting there getting rich. Now you're going to have a problem where all of a sudden there's no more ghosts. So you have all these franchises going out of business. I don't know. I would have liked to have seen something like that. I mean, they're all getting older. And then maybe a handed off to the Paul Rudd character. And then you could bring in, I think her name is Phoebe, the character. Then you could bring in Phoebe. But it's just the the other characters. I mean, they waited so long to, to make number three that it's Egon's granddaughter. It's not even like his daughter. That's just an idea, right? Obviously, it's, you know, they didn't go with that. Vault 94. All right, what quests do we have here? Um, Morgantown. Let's go to... I want to go back to the... Actually, the wayward. Where's the wayward here? Because I think we have a basic quest to craft armor. So let's go to the wayward. 13 bucks. Jesus. Matt says, honestly, if they wanted a good way to continue the IP, they could have had another group of college professors studying the same thing. Yeah. Right? That's a good idea, too. Have the granddaughter show up, too. As a nerdy fangirl who actually knows this stuff. Yeah. What I didn't need to see is when Phoebe discovers in the barn... Old, the Ecto-1, which is already an ancient piece of crap car when they got it. And, you know, they, they, they do the reveal of all these items, like the Proton Pack, like it's Excalibur, like it's a light, like it's the Skywalker Blade. It's just, these are just tools they used, right? But to us and our generation, we see them and we freak out because, oh, my God, I remember that thing. And I'm not going to get into that whole rant because I've done it way too many times. And I'm not here to pee on anyone's parade. If you enjoy the new stuff, that's fine. You could tell me to shut up. I'm totally cool with that. Back from the hunt, huh? Question I could answer for you. Uh, can we trade? This is what she has, right? She has no weapons. She just has a dish of food. Ah, this again. Yeah, we could just make our own. I only have 1300 bucks. That's not much. 
Excellent idea. Thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, in one of the characters' names, podcast. I just think it's. Uh, and I heard uh, poor uh, Wolf, what's his face? They didn't have anything for him to do. So the new one is just bloated with all these characters with nothing to do, which is something very common. I mean, we've seen that in the sequel trilogy of Star Wars. Past The Force Awakens, they just keep bringing in new characters. And you only have so much screen time, so you have nothing for these characters to do. But you keep introducing them, right? No, 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 no. Let's craft this armor. This is the beginner stuff I haven't done yet. Oh my god, what's my guy's problem? She's been severely burnt, looks like. What's this craft armor? Craft a piece of armor. Well, I don't want to I don't want to do that. I'd have to go to a certain station for armor probably, right? Armor. Okay, yeah. Look, I, look at my guys destroyed. That's so great. Her clothes are like completely gone. Need cloth. Hmm. I suppose just doing only fans. I don't want to be there. The proton one. <laughs> Bat Stan. Just blast them. Yeah. I don't know. And what do the parents say of these kids, you know? We need cloth. Where do we get cloth? What do they say? Why is my guy? What happened to her? Guys. What happened? Why is her butt translucent? Look. What the hell? Oh my. We need to find cloth. Where would I get cloth? Probably almost anywhere. Cloth for the beginner quest of crafting your own armor. Uh, actually, you could check uh, check all the camps and take stuff freely. I keep forgetting that the morality is taken out of Fallout. So, like, stealing stuff doesn't matter in the game. Remember, like, Fallout 3 in New Vegas, you steal stuff and you get the normality? Like, it's it's such a shame they took that out. Craft a weapon, all right. Um, well, I mean, let's wander. Let's explore. I just, am I in your town now? Screwdriver combination wrench. That's not cloth. You'd think cloth would be... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm looking for cloth as an actual cloth. I have to find, like, those uniforms and stuff like that and break them down. Aha, the light just went off. All right. So I just have to find clothes and then break it down. I'm not used to the breaking down thing. That's what's tripping me up. All right. So we just have to find, like... What'd you say? Oh, 
Who's shooting at me? Holy hell. I know you're hungry. Just relax. I'm coming. Let's take this guy out up here first. Those are smart eyes. Got him. There's a guy across the way. Look at that guy. Woo! Take your head off of one of those things. One shot. There you go. You could go to Sutton and get the burnt books for claw. Ah, okay. You can become a wanted criminal. I'm currently wanted for lockpicking people's camps. Really? I like that. I like the sounds of that. Let's get some character. Good. Uh, Mutron says, when I was a kid, I wanted to be an astronaut, firefighter, and soldier. My eight-year-old wants to be <laughs> an influencer. You know what, mate? I'm not sure, Mutron, how old you are. You don't have to disclose that. Uh, but if you're part of my generation... These were opportunities that did not exist. And I am really, really excited for the generation that gets to pick doing that as a career. I say good for them. Like when we were kids, if you knew somebody that had a video camera, like that kid was like rich. Do you know what I mean? Nobody had that. So I'm glad that they have that opportunity. Yeah, there you go. I'm 48. So we're the same gen, yeah. I mean, I still don't know what the term influencer really means. I've been here. think you influence people I guess I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing I mean it's if it's a positive thing or I guess it's just a social media presence yeah okay Somerville okay where would that be Cameron Somerville. Uh, Mary, who was in here earlier too, also told us about uh, a sniper rifle. Um, and I'm just going to look up the location. I was going to Google it on the break. We haven't taken a break yet. Uh, that is... Uh, sorry, it's Summer Somerville? I don't know. Have I been there yet? I don't think I've been there yet. I haven't really been around here at all. Oh, there it is. Seven caps. Let's go. Found it. I guess we have been there. Okay. Uh, burnt books for cloth. My whole gaming life has become these crafting games. I've I I find, and I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving every minute of it. Burnt textbooks.
They always gotta get that hit on you. Cameron for the win. Thanks, mate. We found him. <laughs> Eve doesn't look like her photo ID anymore. Yeah, she looks. Uh... Oh my god! I'm sorry, Eve. What I've done to her? Does she go back to regular, or is that like she's all beat up now? I like how I like how uh, she looks differently. Like that it's pretty neat. Look at how filthy she is. How do I clean her up? How do I clean her up? Of the pond looking thing at the bottom left is the first house. Okay. Yeah, Matt, hopefully um, you'll be available maybe tonight. Oh, look at all the bird books. We could uh, test it out tonight if you want to do that. Uh, I have no idea how it works. Uh, once again, everyone in the chat, tomorrow is our first ever Fallout 76 Community Day. Recipe. You really got to look everywhere eh, for these books. Uh, and if you're looking to play Fallout 76 with us, you are more than welcome to play it on... We're playing it on Steam. All you have to do is become a channel member. That's it. You need to play with us, crazy kids. Oh, this is a gold mine. What a what a what a tip from Cameron. What a tip. Clown outfit. Well, we're gonna have to bring our tent up now. Oh, what is that? VTU. It's not like a Letterman jacket. We'll take that. Woo! Can you take a bath or shower, Mo says? Um, I certainly hope so. But I think my vault suit is like just destroyed. Stuff wears out, right? And this, like, look at her. She's just going to light. She's, uh. Oh my god. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm loving it. This is a this is a great game. And I haven't even had the, the uh, pleasure of playing with people yet, so I, I'm excited. Playing with people in the game. Wow, we got a lot, lot of uh, cloth there. We we'll just have to take it into uh, a town, I guess, to get it scrapped. Is that what we gotta do? So, what's the different scrap box, vault stash? Once we scrap it, we can put it into here. Okay, so it's two different thingies. Got it. Got it. You want to see? Let's see this clown outfit. Yeah, it's a good idea. We're going to look like it. Ready? Put the glasses on, too. Here we go. I 
I look like a friggin' serial killer. Hello. Do you have any water? Scrap box is junk. Uh, well, I don't think so. It's got this has actually my mats in it, right? Take all the junk out of the storage and put it in the scrap box. Oh, it scraps it for you. Okay. Thanks again, dude. Okay. We're learning here. Okay. Take all the junk out of the storage box and put it into the scrap box. Take all this out. Okay, I'm going to just try this. Let's run into here. Okay. Uh, scrap. Scrap and store. Okay. Where's the cloth now? I scrapped the books. There's that. It's not this, right? The basic fiber? Or, sorry, ballistic fiber scrap. Scrap all in store. Yeah, Cameron. Yeah, you're you're helping us big time, man. I appreciate it very much. Okay, so it scraps it for you. That's good. Uh... Scrap and store. Wait, we don't want to get rid of this, do we? Small vault tech supply package? Yeah, whatever. Christoph, we'll see you later, buddy. You have yourself a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, I can't wear this clown outfit. <laughs> Sorry, Stanley. <laughs> The raw, oh, it's called, is it under raw? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So we can leave, go back to the quest, and then whatever we need, we can just pull up the tent. Craft a weapon, so we could go back here. This costs a lot of money to travel around, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, Mutron, thank you for the $2. Appreciate the super chat. Got a bounce pizza night with the mini Mutrons. Uh, come on back, buddy, too, for sure. It was a great uh, great time having you here. Thank you very much for the uh, $2 donation. See you on the next one. <laughs> I need water. I need... Jim, my guy, 
sorry, my gal, she needs a shower. Yeah. Not top priority, but I mean, it's pretty, pretty gross. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty brute. Okay, so now we can go down here. Plop our tent down. Right in the middle of the road. Grab the scrap. Which is the raw. Oh. No, not raw leather. No, no, no. Uh, raw cloth. Now go back up here. Should be able to craft armor, I think. <coughs> Dirty Eve. There you go. Circuitry. Now we can do another a brand new jumpsuit from the TV show. There you go. Uh, so build. Build. Armor conditions degrade as you take damage. Fair. So now... All right, Vicman. Hey, see you later, mate. Have a good day at work. Appreciate you hanging out with us. She's still dirty, though. Hmm. Yeah, that I don't know how to get around right now. Now we got to craft a weapon for this beginner quest that we should have done already. Now let's just do a short hunting rifle. Okay, that's done. I mean, it's a level 10. We're not really going to use it. But we crafted it. That's it. All right, we're going to head northwest here. I think I'm encumbered, aren't I? Yeah. Let's drop our stuff off. Ah, <sighs> uh, store. We're still encumbered. Oh my goodness. It's got to be miscellaneous stuff. Like, does this stuff have weight, copper, ore? No, it doesn't. So what's taking up all the room? Hmm. All my weapons, I guess. That. That. Plasma grenade we'll get rid of. Fragmentation grenades. Shovel, I don't know why we still have that.
Okay, that gives us a bit bit more room to play. Northwest. Yay. Jake, what's going on, mate? You're installing 76 because of me. Oh. Well, I appreciate that. It's uh, really good. What? Yeah, you'll have fun with it. For sure, Jake. It's awesome. What do you uh what are you playing it on? Those things always get me. I'm just saying. They come to get me, so I'm not gonna let it. I gotta make the first move. Normally don't like to do that. Looks like I've been here today. Yeah, I've been here. You played it three years ago? Nice. Never did try it. I just read it was... Uh, very bare bones, uh, comparable to No Man's Sky when it launched, how there was nothing to do. But now it's not the case. Taking all the metal to scrap. Just getting a little bit more comfortable with this tent. Rapid store. All right. We're getting the hang of it, guys. Okay. We're getting the hang of it. Loot, scrap, and store. Loot, scrap, and store. All right. This is how we get up the mats that we finally find a little. When we finally find a location for our hidden rebel base, we'll be ready to build it with. Uh, we'll be able to make it pretty good, I think. Only I would try and shotgun a bee. All right, almost at our destination. Hello, I'm dirty. Where's the shower? Speak to Lane. Lane, where are you? Oh, you're Lane. Hello, Lane. Ah, back for another job? Yep. Let's see what's going on today. Feel like being my courier again today? Yep. How much are you going to pay? Who am I delivering to exactly? The Blue Ridge Caravan Company from Big Bend. They set up a little camp for conducting business in the area. We use the supplies they sell. And it never hurts to show a little gratitude. If you want a safe haven, go to Okay, well let's do it, man. Thank you. I'm totally up for it. Gather the care packages. 
One. Two. Three. After responders care package. There are plenty of oversized helmets for us to enjoy in the game. <laughs> 86 style, right? Eighty-six. Put the the poor eighty-six viper. I almost feel like weekly on verses I have to apologize to the viper. Like I've somehow done him wrong. Maybe one day. Maybe. All right, anybody out there know how to clean your character? Or what if you turn like this because you've done a lot of bad things in the game? I'm going to have to Google it. We do it really quick. It says maybe go to the river, a Braxo cleaner. I don't know which one of those is like a joke or which one of those is actually real. I, I think you can, Jim, yeah. Um, let's see here. I think you can. So there's like cleaner in this called a Braxo that you find. Someone said that. It's just like a Reddit thread. And then someone said the river. Fog. Even just a mist I mean, harder to see. we're going to find out. Got radiation doing it, but whatever. That didn't work! You're always a power armor? Yeah. Power armor is so cool in this. I found two sets so far. But since I've tried to do a sniper, um, it's not really the build I'm going for. But man, especially when you jump and then you land, it totally shakes the entire ground. So that water didn't do anything. I might have to use a Braxel Cleaner. It says because I've been burnt. I thought it was because my character has done a bunch of bad things, maybe. So everyone would know I'm a bad woman. Yeah, I was battling in the power armor the other day and the power core ran out. I forgot about that. <laughs> Oops. Deliver the package. Let's do it. Oh, can I have that helmet? No. Hello. Johnny Bills. Hey, Johnny Bills. 
Good to see you there, pal. I'm gonna take a picture of that. That's hilarious. Johnny Bills. Oh, need some new clothes. I'm getting some new Hey there, traveler. It's a daily, fifteen buck. So do I have any at Braxton Cleaner? Let me see if we can find any. There's some right there. You cannot equip this. I think it's a joke. I don't think you could use this. There is uh what is that sister magic that you could add to your camp that cures you? So okay, that makes sense. All right. Are there camps to treat them birds that might help? Yeah, the Abraxo cleaner I think was a joke online because that's like stuff you use to clean your bathroom. <laughs> I should think of what. A shower in that camp. It's uh, it's been a hot minute. Eve's a little uh, she's a little sticky. I'm just saying. A little, getting a little rough. All right. What do we have left to do here? We have besides building, which I actually really want to do. I just don't know. That's the location I want to spend all my time in. I think I like the idea of making a camp around an existing house. And then kind of building my own house around that. Kind of like we do in Seven Days to Die. The, the, our first camp we had. Uh, there's a lot to the south, but the south is a lot uh, higher level mobs. Let's see. Our jukeboxes bring them back to Somerville. Find Crane's treasure. That one bugged out. That was our first day. Poor Hygiene Banjo sounds like you're right I for <laughs> West Virginia. <laughs> God, I don't like the fog. Even just a mist makes it harder to see. All right, well, let's. I think we should really find a camp. That fast travel adds up, man. Yes, you could fast travel. Yes, it saves time, but it costs you. That courier mission I just did, which was a daily quest, gave me 15 caps. And to fast travel to where I just did cost me 12. It's not, uh, not cheap. We're going to head. We're going to check out this area of the map. Uh, let's head northeast. <clears throat> Ideally, I'd like to get somewhere that's kind of elevated. I think that's the ticket. This should be all new area. This is—is is this the dam? 
No, we passed the dam. What is this then? Clear enemies from the grafted steel yard. Well, I definitely don't want to have it by the steel yard. It's a bit of a hot spot. Uh, nothing. I want nothing. I want nothing to do with that. Level up. We're 17. Not bad. I'll take it. A lot of supers at the dam. Super... Super what? Super mutants? Uh, I think we've been here. Yeah, we've been here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Power station. None of these ghouls have any kind of weapons on them. Ow. Ow, that hurt. Yeah, super mean. Sorry. Thanks, mate. We don't need to deal with that. That guy had a gun. What did he have? A short hunting knife and a bow knife again. Don't want that stuff, man. All right, we're just going to keep following up the road. Want to find kind of like a house like on the hill kind of thing. I think that's the idea. A little bigger than this. <laughs> so, hey, it's Checkpoint Alpha. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Where's Law? Hmm. This kind of looks interesting. But just steps up this way. All right, let's go up here. Yeah, this might be something. We might be onto something here. Oh, this looks like it's going to lead to what? Some kind of observatory? Colonel Kelly Monument. Oh. That's cool. I <laughs> bet the clipboard's missing. <laughs> Isn't it always missing? Which is why, still to this day, forget the fantail rail on the flag. The clipboard is the best item in G.I. Joe. 100%. That's the thing of legends. Storm Shadow should come with the clipboard. I'm just saying. I'm going to dump some of this stuff.
I mean, I could build up here by this monument and look at this view we would have. Right? Maybe? I... Maybe too touristy? Because this thing's up here? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. Fine, we'll keep moving. Uh oh. It's on me. Ow. Stupid mole rats. That hurt. Yeah, and I guess if we had our camp up here, it would be a pain to kind of get back up there unless you fast traveled, which I believe is free, but I would have to literally fast travel to the different locations every time. Yeah, we don't want that. Ooh. We're pushing it with the falls. We need the meat. Huh. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Whenever you leave your survival tent, you can use a fast travel for free. Ooh. More great. Great wisdom. Thank you. All right. That's good. So, Cameron, you must have multiple bases. Did you did you settle around any kind of structure? Like, see something like this. Right? Like, you could build it in here, can't you? Oh, we were in here already. Come on, what are you doing? Come on. Encumbered with what? My character is dirty. Some of this stuff up, stim pack. Uh, right away. We got a short laser pistol back. Did we get any uh, ammo for that? Nah, not really. Acid copper water. Yeah, that's basically the 
the thing I want to do now is to find a good location. Whoa. There's an elite. We'll just leave him. So the resource stuff, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Oh. Oh, look at his head. I don't know enough about the resources just yet. But I guess, I mean, you can always... You can always uh, relocate at any time, right? So... I'm, I'm anxious to get to the building. The building stuff is what uh, I really want to get into. But... Gotta find that perfect spot. See, that's pretty good. I'm pretty sure I've made my mind up around an existing structure, though. Yeah, there's all... Look at all this. I haven't gone to any of this stuff. <clears throat> See how far north we can go. <clears throat> we'll go as far as we can anyway. Pickford's residence. Hey, Pickford, bummer about your party, man. Alright, uh, straight up that way, I believe. Yeah. I think we're gonna get stopped at these mountains. My guy needs food and water. I think we've reached as far as we could go this way. So, how would we get up here to the east side? Or maybe we're not supposed to be. Like, look at all this here. We haven't even got close to any of this stuff. I guess down through here, right? And then up this way. Because it looks like here we're not going to be able to cross because the mountain ledge. <clears throat> Read the nightclub advertisement. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm uh, just looking up. Uh, Mary, who was in the chat earlier, said 
the the one sniper rifle is east of Watoga. I'm gonna find out where that is. Oh wow, Jake, that's cool. Very cool. find out where this is here at least we got a picture here this event here is where Watoga is apparently right here I don't know if I could fast travel for since we can fast travel for free. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna make that today. That's quite a hike right there. <clears throat> and we don't really have anything to fast travel to. Uh, are there any hints at what the new map expansion is? They should do just like a GTA. Like uh, San Andreas and just have different cities. Wouldn't that be cool? And they'd be pretty slick. Toxic water, that's okay. I'm trying to get clean. See if this works. Didn't work. I like the way this laser pistol feels. It's just so damn quick. Southern part of the map, eh? Okay. That's confirmed. That's pretty sick. And Bethesda, very smart, right? Getting it planned. So you bring out the TV show. Hope it's a, su a success. Then you plan to drop it in June. Dudes, this is far. Look at this. We're here. Here. The sniper rifle should be around here. This is uh, what the word is anyway. Well, hopefully, we'll, we'll try and get there. Oh, TJ, you're back. What are you saying, man? What's up? Skin in the morning to see the size of the stones. So they know that's what it is for sure. Uh, first off, I'm glad you're back home, dude. Green area, nice. Mary, you're still here. Awesome. Flooded train yards, red rocket, mega stop. Uh, yeah, we. What do we have written down here? I had uh, east of Watoga, the the flooded train yards. Yes, that is right here. I don't have any of that uncovered yet, so 
We're making the trek. Thanks. <clears throat> oh, we got an elite, ladies and gentlemen. I got an elite. Hey, what's that? Shiny, run. He hit hard, that's for sure. But we got him. Strengthened Raider right leg. Metal right leg. Loose screws. Wood block. Oh my god, he had everything. Ziggurats. We don't want that. Wendigo teeth. I don't know what that is. Fiberglass spool. Just take it all. Why is that grayed out? Oh wow, it's it's too high. All right, it's fair. You're 40 on Xbox. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's too bad they're not cross-platform. Uh, PC is if you're on Game Pass. But uh, Steam isn't. Yeah, cause my buddy's got it on Xbox, too. He wanted to play with us, but he can't. That really sucks. That was interesting. We took down an elite. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, there's a quest event that's coming before the expansion. Jake, is that what you mean? You're on Game Pass. Yeah, so, yeah, PC players who have... Uh, Game Pass could play with Xbox. But like PlayStation and Steam and all that, they're not cross compatible. I think this guy said his name was Cutthroat. Oh. Hang on, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight. Hang on. Oh, it's a turret. Okay, I'm not going to sit there. Recoil compressed plasma rifle. Yes, please. Let's check that out around the corner. We'll get out of range of that turret. Yeah, I don't know why it's not cross-platform for everybody. Two plasma rifles, okay. 
Uh, let's we'll get rid of the laser. Still got a crappy iron sight. Look at that. It's terrible. It's like off to the side. It's really weird. Oh, that was an elite. Okay. So when it's like got the star above the character. I'm just thinking of like World of Warcraft, right? How that works. I just kind of guessed. Stanley, you're playing on Xbox. Oh, 2600. Listen to you. That's your favorite system. Fallout for the 2600. It's just like yellow and white blocks. With those great 2600 sound effects that we all know and love. Nobody loves them. I'm sorry. Nobody. Uh, yeah. So we're going to have to go here. I think to cut through. But we'll see when we get there. We'll see when we get there. Optimus? No. Hey, Dale. Welcome on in, brother. Hello. All right, yeah, I gotta, I gotta switch to the laser rifle. Whoa. All right, let's get some uh, shelter first. Look at this thing. Oh, no. I don't know where they are. I can't see. Oh. One shot, baby! Ah, all right, that was a that was a nice little fight. It's a nice little scrap. Let's uh, step up, keep moving. Oh my God, how do you get up here? Hmm. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I guess we follow the road. This way. Yeah, Dale. A uh, lot of people in the chat today have been helping out, which has been great. Learning a lot about doing all that stuff. I haven't really found a weapon I wanted to upgrade. Uh, we're on the search for a, a rifle with a scope, a sniper rifle. 
Oh, sorry, Stanley. I don't know how I got so many rounds. Yeah, I have no idea. Of this particular weapon. Even the shotgun I have a lot of. Now we're looking just to unlock travel points. So we don't have to do this trek again. Food and water helps with the aiming and shooting. Okay, it's not just your action points then? All right. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Wrong game. <laughs> Again, imagine, imagine Wizard of Oz on the twenty six hundred. Yeah, I'm used to uh, Cameron. I'm with you. I'm used to. Uh, other survival games where it's a bit more prominent. This one, it doesn't really tell you that well, I find. So I always, like, forget. I don't... Because I don't think your health goes down in this, right? When you're starving and thirsty. Uh, I'm on a private server, dude. Yeah, this is f our server for our community day for tomorrow. Oh, now this might be a nice spot for a camp. We're pretty high, we're pretty high up here. It's pretty quiet. What is that? Oh, wow. I think we're maybe halfway there. <laughs> maybe. Oh, we got another little uh, kerfuffle up here. Who's who's gonna get it? It's my laser. Plasma rifles with no ammo. Damn, once again, I got nothing. This crappy shotgun. Yeah, that car. Do one for one, I'm good with it. There you go, boy. We're in the head. All right, well, we're over the mountain. Yes, we are. We're over the mountain. Okay, is this a spot where we could f get a fast travel? I should go to the monuments, yeah, so we can get a fast travel point for sure. Train yards? Anybody? Nope, this is not a spot. It's just your AP generation, okay. Which I guess if you're trying to get away, right? I mean, it, it does matter a bit. Thanks, dude. 
I like sniping, which is why we're trying to head to get this first sniper rifle. <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, my friends, it is 2 o'clock, and it is time to end the stream for today. Um, but man, what a great turnout. Um... <laughs> Mutron, you're back. Yeah, just, just heading off for the day, buddy. Uh, but I do, once again, want to thank each and every one of you guys for being here. Man, what a what a great... What a great couple of days of streaming. Uh, with the G.I. Joe stuff and playing Fallout and just talking and hanging out. Uh, I love it. So thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for the new memberships. Uh, the super chats that you guys gave over the course of today. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, fear not, tomorrow, our Fallout 76 Community Day. Again, if you want to be a part of it, you just need to become a channel member. And you can join us over here on Steam. We're going to be playing all day. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I thank each and every one of you guys. You're the best. I love you. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Uh, TJ Stanley, you guys rest up, all right? We'll see you guys in the morning. Cheers, my friends.